Call the meeting to order. We'll have a roll call. Commissioner Salmon is virtual. Commissioner Hopp. Here. Here. Commissioner Jones. Here. Commissioner Clyunas. Everybody's here. Can I get you anything before I go? Mm -mm. Sure. I, have a Hi. I can't hear you. I have Larry on the microphone. Oh, Larry, can you mute your microphone? Well, we'll have to pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's your pleasure in the minutes of December 21st? Move to approve. Second. We have a, mo a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Aye. Items for discussion and possible action. 3.1, Sheboygan Police Department update on the hiring hiring post. Well, I just wanted to circle back to the uh, eligibility pool that we established uh, earlier in our late in the fall and, and into Christmas. Uh, conditional offers have been extended to Tyler Matelski and Rachel Smith. Uh, they're going through their post offer processes right now with their uh, uh, testing and, and uh, uh, other the psychological testing and the medical testing that takes place prior to the offer being finalized. Uh, we were anticipating starting them on the 22nd of this month. That might have been aggressive. It might be uh, the 28th or uh, first week of March. Um, other than that, we have one other vacancy and uh, we're, we have not quite uh, decided how we're going to fill that vacancy yet. We're not going to run an open process until we know really how many vacancies we're going to need into the year. Uh, so I've collected uh, about 100 applications right now. Uh, they've been screened and, and I have them uh, separated for those that I think we would probably evaluate, but we don't know when that evaluation is going to take place. Uh, we also have some of the other avenues available to us as well uh, early in the year this year. So right now I'm not asking for any action, just letting you know that uh, the pool that we have uh, established early or late last year uh, at this point has been exhausted, uh, but we don't have uh, foreseeable needs in the immediate future that we need to address. So, so we, have, we have two CSOs in our program right now that are both students at Lakeshore Technical College. One is in the second year. Uh, he's been working for us for uh, just over a year. Uh, and he, he is a very strong candidate for a police position in the department. Uh, and we're, we're keeping an eye on him and his progress and kind of targeting him toward uh, when he finishes school in May of this year, uh, toward a position at that time. We have another uh, community service officer. Uh, she is in her first year at Lakeshore Technical College. She's been associated with our department for several years through the Explore program also. Uh, and she is doing very well up there. She's a leader in her class up there. Uh, but of course, there's still uh, 18 months of school left that, that we have to uh, work with her. Uh, but as far as being a CSO, she's establishing herself in the department as a very, very uh, competent CSO. Uh, so, so far, she is on a, a very good path. Uh, we also just hired a, a young man who's a senior out at Lakeland University. Uh, he's also in the National Guard and, and a, a bilingual, a Spanish-speaking uh, student. Uh, has a lot of attributes that we uh, like at the department that I, that I think uh, make him a very, very strong candidate for a police position if we uh, get a chance to observe those things in his work. Uh, he just started uh, a few weeks ago, so we haven't had a 
a lot of exposure to him yet. Uh, but I would tell you in the first uh, six weeks or so that we've had him, uh, he's, he's an impressive young man. So. Uh, just uh, to reiterate, the two, the two females you just offered jobs to, or they're on now, they're both certified, correct? So we offer jobs to Tyler Matelski and Rachel Smith, yeah. and they are both certifiable. Yeah. They both graduated Academy last summer. Okay. And absence of results from the screening they're going through, have they given every indication that they'd be willing to accept they the offer? They have. They've both, they've both accepted the offer and we're proceeding with the post-offer testing. Great. Okay. Any other questions? If not, thank you. Commission approval for promotion and the Sheboygan Police Department to the rank of captain. Chief Domikowski. Okay, so this should not be unfamiliar to you. Um, you've been aware for a while that uh, Captain Brasser was gonna retire. Uh, the 29th was his last working day. Um, so the position was posted on no November 27th. Um, and we got three lieutenants that responded to the posting we ran a process with those three candidates. The process consisted of a written assignment, um, an outside panel interview. Chief Montiano was uh, one of our evaluators on that uh, interview panel. Uh, I put them through a standardized assessment procedure and semi-structured interview to assess the, their strengths, roles, risks, and motivators. And so that was a process that um, the psychologists that we work with um, did a bunch of um, testing with them and, and did an interview um, and then provided feedback to me. And then once the process was all done, he gave um, individual feedback to them too on things that they could do um, to continue to grow and develop. So um, kind of a win-win thing. Um, and then the final uh, thing that we did was a chief's interview with me and um, the two captains. Um, and so the top rated candidate was uh, Lieutenant Kurt Semple, and that's who I'm here um, nominating and requesting that you approve um, that we promote. Um, so I've, uh, uh, I, number one, I think you know Kurt quite a bit already, and then I've uh, attached his resume. He's a very well-rounded um, young man. Um, he's been served in just about every, every um, position in, or rank in the department. He was an officer, he was on the street crimes unit, um, he served as a detective, was a sergeant, a lieutenant. Um, he's been through the whole educational gamut there. Um, he's done very well in school. Um, he's helped us with a lot of the research that we've done to try to improve our practices. Um, yeah, and he's very, as most of you know, very involved in the community. So I highly recommend them and, and I look forward um, to him working with us. If you approve his promotion, because of COVID, we're gonna do a, a closed promotional process, um, really for the candidates and their families. And we're gonna do that on Friday afternoon. Um, we're also gonna promote the, the sergeants and the lieutenant that you had previously um, approved and then all of those promotions would be effective uh, on Sunday. Jane? I move to, move to approve the, the uh, promotion of Lieutenant Kurt Zempel. Second. We got a motion and a second to approve Kurt Zempel. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Thank you, Steve. I think you made a, a very good decision. I think Kurt's going to be a great addition to your captain's post. Thank you very much. Review of the job description for the assistant chief in the fire department. I think we all... We all got something on the computer to look at uh, uh, what what Chief uh, Maldonado had sent us, and it's just a matter of 
a few changes I think that he was going to highlight for us. Chief? Yeah, so uh, thank you. Everybody got a, a copy that is uh, hopefully the final draft. There really was uh, not any major changes other than language cleanup. There was a lot of duplication. Um, as Chief Demogowski said a couple of weeks ago or uh, last meeting, uh, that uh, the city is going through all the job descriptions and kind of uh, condensing some of them. So it went from like a seven page document to a four page document roughly. Uh, really, uh, nothing's changed as far as the criteria, uh, uh, the requirements, educational requirements are all that was existing before. Um, so truly, it was more, there was a few areas that re repeated a lot of the same uh, work requirements or uh, recommendations, so we cleaned that up and just condensed it. Um, so they are still requiring, a, a, you know, we still want them to have an associate's degree uh, to, to be able to apply, but, um, and then again, minimum of two years, which is important, uh, two years experience uh, at the rank of battalion chief uh, or, or higher. So uh, some of the language that we added, uh, again, was just in case there was no, uh, there weren't any internal candidates uh, that we would um, change that. So if, if the ability for them to, to apply from the outside and have to be uh, taken through the same uh, requirements as uh, drug testing or medical testing that our firefighters go through when they're first hired. So we wanted to make sure we were consistent. So other than that, unless you guys have any other questions, really there was uh, no major changes to it. Are there any questions for the chief, Jane? Uh, just a clarification, what does the BLS certification mean through the agency? Yeah, BLS, basic life support, so that's okay. uh, EMS related, yeah, EMS so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, thank you. Any other questions? Larry, you have nothing? I can't hear Larry. Nothing at my end, thank you. Okay. I think we would need a motion to approve. Jean? Draft of the assistant chief job description. Second. We got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. <laughs> Seeing nothing else, we need a, a motion to go into closed session. I'll make a motion to go into closed session. Second. We got a motion and a second. Roll call. Andy? Aye. Jerry? Aye. Gene? Aye. Larry? Aye. Aye. Uh, we are now in closed session.